All righty, so we're doing good. I have officially paid off this ship out here. Uh, 53 million. We got 43 here. I got 7 million. I need 3 more million. I got like 7.9 million. So maybe I need 2 million more um, in another station. And so this thing's doing well out here. We uh, fitted it for Garistas. And it's, uh, it's working. It's working well. A few close calls, but overall... Um, I feel like it's, uh, it's doing really well. So, yeah, let's see here. Heading out to the next spot. See, there's somebody out here with an Ishtar. You know what? I will not be the first target when hostiles come in. Mm-hmm. Yep. They're going to want a tasty Ishtar over a lowly little Vexer. Maybe that gives me better survivability. I don't know. Cheese fingers from Publix, provolone wrapped in pepperoni. Hmm, sounds interesting. I'm trying to figure out my best orbit so that I don't fly right into them because I've done that before. And I've determined that that's not the best thing to do. So. See if I start heading a direction that will just continue that way and then the orbit hopefully won't um, won't be a problem. Yeah, my tank on this is totally passive. The only active part of it is my afterburner. I got to keep moving and doing it fast. Man, they, uh, they went by quick. Uh, eventually you can learn all skills, yes. I'll show you something else here in a second. When you learn all the ships and you get uh, a mastery in all of them, then you look something like this. All that gold, they're all mastered. I haven't unlocked these couple ships, but everything else I have Everything else is mastered, and uh, it's kind of the same way for most of my stuff here. This character has been primarily focused on ships, where I have other characters that are focused on manufacturing and mining and stuff like that. So, 103,000 in loot on this one. Wah, wah, wah. Still pulling some stuff in. Maybe there'll be some more. We'll see. These storms 
Falling from the Gulf, move away. You know, so I'm in Florida too, which you know that. I haven't looked in a few days. I have a hurricane app on my phone that I pay attention to. We got one in the Gulf that's 40 to 60%. Two more out in the Atlantic. Potentials. Uh, this, this hurricane season has been really light. Although Hurricane Danny or whatnot, we actually did get a little bit of water damage in one of our rooms from it. All right, there is like nothing. That, that loot was subpar. So you gotta have some low ones in order to have some that are really worth it, right? Averages. Dream. Yeah, things are going good today. Uh, to show the ship menu, you want to take a screenshot of it? Well, you, I mean, you can click it right here, ship tree. Uh, I can't do it right now while I'm... I got things to shoot. Well, I could. It would not be smart of me to do it while I have things to shoot. Let me put it that way. Especially with this many things that are right here. All right, these are uh, a little bit bigger than the last ones. I could actually suffer some shield issues here. So, yeah, here, let me go out this way. Nine fifty, nine fifty, nine fifty. Oh, they're Welcome all the same. To the dragons. Okay. Topazer just followed. Topazer, thank you for the follow. Welcome. On oh, Johnny Prox. Maybe I stepped away whenever that came in. Welcome. That's the most mastery five you've seen so far. Yeah, I actually uh, don't have very much to do to in all the command ships to reach my mastery. Maybe a month or two of training and I'll have it. So it just has to do with uh, command bursts. I can show it again after I clear these guys out. I just want to make sure that I clear them out. watching the stream yeah one of the yes I uh, had a bit to do with WoW back in the day which for that I got an official pardon from Blizzard Like, they asked me to meet them in Germany. And I'm like, oh man, why do they want to meet me? I saw, I went and saw them. And, um, they, they wanted me to do an interview for the channel for the stuff that I was working, you know, their new stuff that was, and he was the director of Cataclysm. Or Catechism. Cataclysm. Uh. I forget which name it is. One's unholy, one's holy. <laughs> uh, cataclysm. And um, so, anyway, they. Uh, it's actually on video, him telling me that they're giving me a pardon. It's a, it's a really old video. But I was kind of surprised. I wasn't expecting it, wasn't asking for it. Just kept doing my thing. But they did that after, uh, in 2010, 
I announced that our business was changing. We wouldn't do anything that, um, we never did anything that broke the law, but we wouldn't do anything that would violate the rules, like the player rules of any of the games. So we made that change and actually multiple companies came to us and, and asked to do business with us. That's when World of Tanks contacted us and Blizzard reached out and, and some others. And that's, you know, where I get all my knowledge of how all this botting stuff works and everything. So I don't do any botting. But I, I am concerned about it with AI, all the AI stuff. I'm really concerned about it because I think that we're within a year of the average Joe being able to just type in to an application what he wants it to do for a game and it can watch the game and it can figure it out and it'll just do it. I, I think that we're, we're coming up on that and that's going to be a severe change in the video game industry. Um, because uh, I don't know, I don't know how to fight something like that. You know, it's not necessarily detectable. Um, you know, people will be dumb. Bots nowadays, when you see them in the game and you go and look at their killboard, their killboard is red almost all the way across. And and whereas normal people have these big blocks of time, about the same time every day, where nothing happens. And that's because they're sleeping. And if it's a bigger block of time where nothing happens, it's because they're working. And so, um, you know, it's, um, I think we're gonna unite against uh, the bots. Uh, we talked to Squiz earlier today, he's Killboard. If any of you don't know, heat map there. Here, let me, uh, let me see here. So this, uh, this, is, um, this is a player, um, he's not, uh, this is not a, um, what a uh, thing looks like for somebody who is a bot. Um, this, is, this is probably pretty normal, Welcome and this is, this is like, just followed. you know, maybe he has Sunday, Monday off, you know, that's why he's active in these times, where he has Saturday, Sunday off, I don't know, but... Um, playing, you know, late on the, on those nights and anyway, but when this is almost all red, that's a bot. So, you know, um, we can look here like, you know, oh, see this guy's not a bot. Oh, here, let me, uh, I gotta pay attention to this. It, your keyboard's red because you're bad? No, no, that's, it, it's just, that's not really what this is that we're looking at. Um, oh shit. Okay, pick this up. Oh shit, where's my scoop? Here, I gotta, I gotta pick this up real quick. We got, we got company in here. Come on, pick the damn thing up. Thank you. Not enough cargo space. Fine. Bob drive active. All right. I don't know who this guy is, but we can't sit here. Oh, he's gone. Okay. So we're good. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know here, like, if we can just find one. See, this is a normal player and everything. You know it when you see it, though. You know it when you see it. And so, um... Yeah, anyway, we talked to Squiz earlier. This is normal. And I'm going to see if we can do something to create a list so that you can look and see uh, a list of uh, bot names that are in your system, potentially, or in your area, so you can go bot hunting. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it should be very interesting. All right, let's go uh, drop this stuff off. Red means dangerous, typically right, except in the activity map. It's how many deaths you have. I, actually, I don't know if it includes kills as well. Docking request accepted. All right, let's uh, take this stuff out. All right, so, sorry, just something going on in the store at the same time. Uh, who was that that was having the credit card problem? Uh, we found the errors, they're looking at them. It uh, it looks like it was some sort of communication outage, so it's not a normal thing. That's the areas we're getting. We do audits of everything, and um, an audit's being performed right now. And uh, they just brought that up, so I wasn't able to see it when I looked earlier. All right, so now I'm, uh, boy, I'm happy with uh, the earnings I've been getting on this so far. Uh, 46,500,000, let's go out, do it again, see if we can score another really big uh, piece of loot. In this little ship, that could the little ship that could how cute Oh, I was going to show the, you want to see my mastery again. Okay, we'll work on that. This one should be pretty easy to, to do. All right, I'm not too worried about these little guys kill a second frigate and then the rest can do on its own. There we go. All right, so the mastery here, Galante is my favorite. And so 
I have, you know, all the... Well, actually, you can have a mastery on something and not have the skills to fly it. It is possible. Like, see, I have mastery on these, and I, and I don't have... I need two more levels of transport ship or whatever. Um, and then, like, these right here, like the EOS I was flying earlier, um, Mastery 5, I have 25 days left on training of it. And, in fact, I think it's in my training queue pretty quick right here. Oh, deep core mining right now. Yeah, okay. But, anyway, so that's pretty much why all of these don't have have the stuff I think um, let's see what does this say yep same thing they all want skirmish command so right Yeah, there are some ships where the mastery doesn't line up with what, um, how you actually use it. Uh, it's a guide. It is not an end all. But overall, if you have mastery five, you can do very well in the ship. Go to aspire to. Yeah, I have, uh, that's 11 years of training ships. If you have a ship that you really, really like flying, you can get your mastery all the way up to where it's golden. And then what you find is they have a lot of other associated ships that are like mastery four at that point, or you might even get a mastery five on some other ones that you hadn't even thought of. It is possible. I like Galante for the first thing. And a lot of that's because, because, um, you don't have to use any guns or missiles or whatnot with Galante. You can use just pure drones, and drones work on all ship types. So every uh, every race of drone of of ships has some drone abilities, and so drones are universal. Whereas like um, lasers are not, uh, projectiles are not. Uh, missiles or not like is there any missiles on any of our ships and is there any lasers on Caldari ships I don't think so so yeah Do the magic for uh, 14 first. Uh, he says to do them to five, um, it, at least to four. Yep, and maybe to five before you work on mastery. Uh, that's not bad advice. All right, I do not want to accidentally shoot my uh, mobile tractor unit, even though I targeted it. I don't really want to shoot it. Welcome to the dragons. Bona pants just followed. Now, I'd, normally I'd repeat the name and then say, thank you, welcome. Um, the only thing I'm gonna say, here's what I'm gonna say. Thank you for the follow, boner pants. Don't follow too closely. There you go. That's all I gotta say. Oh, 
Oh, I uh, am going the wrong way. I forgot to start in orbit. I'm like, why am I getting so far away? Yeah. All right, we'll start heading back. Though I'll be dead by the time I get back. Yeah, Dirk says stay in front of me, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. So, let me ask now. So, Boner Pants, are you like a 40-year-old guy who has the name of Boner Pants that you signed up when you were like 17, 18? Actually, Twitch hasn't been around that long. But, I'm just saying. Maybe you're 35 and you're a professional in some industry and you're talking to other uh, people at work and they ask you, oh, what's your Twitch handle? Oh, yeah, Boner Pants. Yeah, I, I I signed up when I was a teenager, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's been your gamer tag for 20 years. See, exactly, I nailed it right on the head. Yeah, we'll uh, just forget I said that too. There are certain things that sound odd after you say them. Oh. All right. Now it's awkwardly silent in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not very much loot in this one so far. Well, that helped. It's almost a million now. I suspect that was the last thing to be pulled in. Yep. Alrighty. I always, almost always, pull my mobile tractor up first and then grab the loot. There's two reasons for that. Um, one is, is so that I don't forget my mobile tractor unit. And the second is, oh, there's still, there's still stuff out here. Is there, are they big? Uh, yeah, one of them's large. I want to salvage them. Um, and the second is, okay, so you want to make sure it fits in, in your, back into your inventory. If you took it out and Welcome all you're doing is salvaging before you put it back in, most likely fit. Just followed. If you pick up all the loot, it may not fit. And, um, so, um, <laughs> You know. And you don't wanna you don't wanna walk away and forget your MTU. Every one of us here has done that though. Multiple times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like unavoidable. All right. See if we can find some good sized battleships that have some good sized loot. Okay, there's Lancers here too. That's okay. You can just ignore the Lancers. I just got to make sure that I am not uh, targeting them because targeting Lancers is really bad.
What fit am I using? So it's um just a second. I uh I I this is my speed fit. If I get webbed, I'm fucked. Come on, kill him! Golly! Okay, get this other one. What the hell, man? Okay, there we go. Um, let's see here. Oh, no, we gotta get that one, and then we get that one. Okay. Um, Jesus. Sorry, lose my train of thought. What was the question? Oh, what fit am I using? Yes, exclamation point fits. This one is called SKFA. Um, I have a couple of Vexor fits, but this one has been modified to run Gerstus. The one on EWB will be for um, it will be, oh, they're jamming me out. It'll be for, um, drones. And this is a cheap fit. So newer players can do this one for sure. Gee whiz. Okay, and uh, Karakar, uh, Kakarot, thank you for the follow a few minutes ago. I, I think we were distracted by boner pants whenever you uh, followed, and then rats started shooting me. It was, it was just, it was a very awkward moment. I couldn't think clearly. We had to make sure the other guy wasn't following too closely. <laughs> he says sorry. <laughs> it's all good, buddy. As long as we have our distance. What is that? Uh, you see, still see signs after COVID. Maintain social distance. Yeah. What should you do for ISK starting out? Not sure what to do. Um, so, you know what? You could uh, get yourself a little ship that uh, they'll do like level one missions and uh, start there. Um, you can go mining, but that leads to a lot of other things. Like you can sell the raw ore or you can refine it and stuff. Um, th there's actually a lot of opportunities with that if you like mining. Um, is this fit alpha friendly? Um, I think not. Oh, actually it might be. It might be. Yeah. Um, well, you can make it alpha friendly. You can change these to the tech one versions. Stuff. I believe most of my stuff is not alpha friendly. Um, yeah, I really, I really believe that alpha is good for, you know, extra characters or whatnot that you're just doing little things, trying different things or for, uh, if you're trying out the game and you're not sure you want to, you want to actually spend any money on it or whatnot, you know, so you can kind of figure that out. But then after that, I really recommend just paying for it monthly, not trying to grind away the money in game so that you can pay for it in game because then it becomes a job. Job's not fun. You say you're at work right now. Um, yeah, you'd rather work an hour to pay for your shit here than to work 20 hours in game grinding to pay for it. So.
Uh, Bammer, have you done the career stuff? There's plenty of stuff in opportunities. Welcome to the plenty dragons. of stuff to go try in here. Just followed. And you can earn some things doing it. Mega, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Ah, 3.1 million. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. And don't worry if you feel lost. You know, you just, you know, go out and keep trying things. And nobody knows everything in the game. So don't feel like that because you don't know what you're doing half the time, that you're not the same as everybody else. Poisonous. Elder Dragon's doing pretty good. I saw him. He left the house going to play some Pokemon Go today. <laughs> I guess he had some Pokemon to catch. All right, 3.1 million. Yeah, he just turned 82 yesterday. Not enough cargo space. We got five that we can't get. All right, we're not gonna worry about it. It's worth 759 isk. very little. Let's go turn our loot in. Drive so, you know, you can do exploration as well. Um, exploration tends to make pretty good money. If you can, you know, you use a, a cheap ship and you go into low sec or null sec. And when I say mean cheap ship, I mean a cheap ship. Because the cheap ships, if you do one site successfully, you've paid for your ship. You do three or four, you've made profit. Make it back with your stuff into high sec and drop it off. Go back out and do it again. Um, and then that way you can afford to replace the ships and stuff. Um, I don't know that I have any fits that are like super cheap for starting out on that stuff, but um, there are people who do. A cheap Astero? I wouldn't use a cheap Astero, not at the beginning. An Astero is one of the most expensive uh, exploration ships that there are. You want to use a Tech 1. Uh, you want to use a Tech 1 ship um, like uh, the Imicus is a good one. And um, let's see here. Yeah, the Imicus for Galante, you know, and like Caldari. Um, the Griff, no, not the Griffin. Let's see here, which one? Oh, the Heron. And everything so you can build these really cheap and so you can have one that fully fitted is five million isk you go out you can almost always make five million isk in a site in lower null and um you know do do a few of those get your shit back into high sec and you made money will you die a lot yes you will that's part of it Now, we haven't come across any of the new um, officers yet. Been been looking, but we haven't haven't come across any yet. You can do exploration in high sec too, so that you can figure out what you're doing. But there are, the sites are a lot harder to find. You have to go way away from the trade hubs. But to get your feet wet and figure it out, you can do it in uh, 
in high sec. And then move to low and null. And then that's where you really start making the money. What do I recommend for forgotten unsecured wormhole sites? Okay, let me uh let me kill a few ships here and here I'll just give you this right here. All of you that are talking about exploration, take a look at that uh, URL I just posted in Twitch chat. That has um, whether it's safe or not to do the sites. And I'm not an expert in this area. So um, as far as what fits for what things, I mean, the high-end ones, uh, I've... I've never done them successfully. Not that they can't be done successfully, because I know they can. I know people do it. But I just haven't. Wormhole space, I think, is good after you feel comfortable in low and null, kind of knowing what you're doing. Because wormhole space involves another level of needing to bookmark locations and stuff like that so that you can get back to where you were. Um, but once you can manage master that, you can do what I call day tripping, which is just, you know, scanning down wormholes in high sec that are not near any trade hubs or, or major pathways. And then you go in there, run a few sites, come back out the same hole you, you came through, and you're near where you were, uh, and you can just drop off the stuff, and so the stuff will be more readily available to you. And then you go out and do it again. So... And we've done that, and, and huffing gas that way, too. All right, 2.6 million worth of loot so far. Oh, that's all of it. All right. Plenty of room to do another one. Right, two battleships. Nice.
It's been working out pretty good. Just dropping my MTU and then orbiting at 20 speed fit. The the only thing I worry about is that if um, hostiles come in, because this thing turns like a freight train, like it does not turn well at all. Damn, that scares me all the time. What? Former, thank you. Ted Drew just followed. I am an, being an Eve enjoyer at the moment. Welcome to the dragon. Yes. Neo, you I have them just followed. <laughs> I love, I love Lorimer and his vernacular Welcome for Eve. Thirteen just followed. So. Welcome to the dragon. I keep, I keep thinking Come I should talk to Lorimer. Sixty-six just followed. And be like, Welcome to the dragons. We I should we should work on our vernacular together. <laughs> Welcome to the dragons. He always has such an interesting Sigurdice way of saying everything. Just followed. My goodness, all these follows. Welcome to the dragons. What am I supposed to Rupert's do with all of you? Just followed. Okay, let's start with. Welcome to the dragons. I am Our finding the money followed. in asteroid belts. And we're doing good in a Welcome ship that dragons. is Tech One and costs less than fifty followed. million, with the MTU included. Welcome so, to the Dragons. Rock um, underscore TV just followed. The ship has been paid for in the last Welcome couple hours of doing this dragons. stuff. The Jinwin just followed. All right. Welcome <laughs> to the Dragons. <laughs> Even Joyers Unite. Zero just followed. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Let's uh, get Welcome this going. To the dragons. Um, Condor John just followed. So ADHD Drew, I feel you, man. I'm right there with you. Neo Montenegro, Mont Montenegro, Toxic, Patch Logan, Sakaris, Ribbon, Unfreezing, Sclathium, Rokar, uh, the Genwin, uh, Maruku. And Condor John, thank you for the follows. Welcome. All right. So. Ah, uh, you want some codes I hooked Loremurth up with? Oh, good. Yes. So, I really like Loremurth. He's, uh, you know. User rock. Zrenida64 just subscribed. If he's streaming and I'm looking for somebody to watch, he's the first one I look at. So, uh, X Raider, thank you so much for the sub. And let's see here. Here's how we do things around here. First off, thousand gold to everybody here in your honor as a thank you for uh, for subbing, supporting the show. And then we're going to see what Dolly thinks about uh, your Twitch avatar. You know, like, is it any good? I don't know. We're about to find out. So, all right, let me uh, get my loot here. Before I lose track of what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, I got the loot. And, oh, it's lame. It is so lame. Raider, this is what uh, what he thinks. Yeah, okay, so please make him look more like something from Mad Max, who has had too much coffee. All 
All right, we'll try that. We'll see what it comes up with. So, how full am I? I've got room. Yeah, do I do faction warfare? I have not been doing faction warfare. Content policy restrictions. Oh, because I mentioned Mad Max. Oh Welcome my God. To the dragons. Yeah. Your okay. Just let me let me change change that to post apocalyptic. Okay, now I got shit shooting at me. No, this is not right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I gotta get moving. Otherwise, they're gonna tear me up. This is a speed fit. It has no active regen. Let's go. Oh my God. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Raider. Here you go. I think it looks just like you. And uh, I think I think Dolly did a fantastic job. So there we go. I will um, I'll put that in our Discord. Exclamation point Discord. In our live shows channel. You can have that. You can do with it what you want. You can trash it if you don't like it, too, or ignore it. But if you do like it, use it however you want. You can own the copyright to it. So, there we go. Okay. Yep. Man. I think that's his coffee container on the back there. Yeah, he's carrying it on his back. He's had way too much coffee. Okay, right, they peeled my shields off pretty good there. What website is that? Oh, I'm using Dolly from OpenAI. Hey, what's going on? Is this guy leaving me? Oh my God, he's getting away. All right. Try this again. Here, let's just try Laura Mirth. Let's see what Laura Mirth comes up looking like. Usually I only do it for subs, for people who sub, but you know what? Actually, Laura Mirth, did he sub the other day? He did. Did I do it before? I don't remember. I must have. It would be the normal thing that I do. A video of what I'm doing? Hmm. Not quite the same as like Lormurth does. He, oh my God, look at Lormurth there. He looks fawesome. That's really good, Lormurth. I'm gonna put that up if you want it. That's beautiful. You look very respectable. Uh huh. Yeah. Whew. All right. So, still pulling some stuff in. Okay, let's try this again. We'll get some salvage on. There's only 157,000 worth of stuff in there so far. All right. I got to do boner pants. I'm sure it will flag me as like a content violation. I could try it, but um, I'm saving that stuff for primarily for subs yeah now why wait I put them out why weren't they getting anything was I just not paying enough attention and I didn't tell them to pick the stuff up that may be all right so um, only 21 million no 21,000 221,000 oh my god it's so little All right, so um, I'll describe what I'm doing here. 
I don't have any sort of video about what I'm doing or whatnot. Basically, I'm in null. I, um, I don't have to worry about these. These are Lancers. They're the only red ones you don't worry about. Um, I'm in this ship, which is 50 million with the mobile tractor unit. And I'm going around to the asteroid belts, killing the rats, picking up their loot, salvaging their wrecks, and making some decent money at it. It's not an enormous amount of money, but it's decent, especially decent for a ship that costs so little. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm doing it out in null. Yeah. So the salvage drones can automatically salvage if you don't have anything targeted. You pop out your drones, you don't have anything targeted, and then you um, hit F and it will salvage the, um, it'll salvage the wrecks Ten within dragons. distance. Nice. Today will be a good day to die. Oh my now God. Go out and fight with honor. Now, that Melon Farmer 68 gifted amount subscriptions to the community. He has a sub now. Okay, normally I give it to the person who gifts a sub, but I know that you want him to. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to. I'll set it up. I'll tell it to do it, but I may not show it to you. You know? Uh, so you just got to be like. Oh man. What are you guys doing to me? I'm not, I'm not sure about this. All right, so there's a thousand gold to everybody here in honor of Bad Melon Farmer, another great name, gifting a sub to Boner Pants so that Dolly can do an image of what Dolly thinks his Twitch avatar would look like. Okay, I'm hitting enter on this. I'm not showing that screen until after, after, not, nah, it's not doing it. It's not doing it. It seems the name provided does not align with content guidelines for image generation. So, what are we gonna use as a different uh, description on that? It, Dolly says no. Dolly is uncomfortable about his name as well. Stiff pants? Twitch ban? That's why I wasn't showing nothing. There ain't gonna be no Twitch ban. Um, hmm. Now, let's see here. I mean, I can try stiff pants. I don't know. I'm not sure that that's going to really show anything. Hardwood pants. <laughs> uh, we couldn't make his pants out of wood. Mm hmm. <laughs> Stiff pants. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well, it's not quite right, but you know. Um, um, tent pants, okay. We'll try tent pants. And, um, yeah. Man, you guys are trying to get me into trouble here. I know it. I feel it. Here is pent pants. <laughs> Right? I'm trying wood pants too. So, um, 
Yeah, no, I can't do a player name. Named that, it'll still come up the same thing because of the instructions I've get, given it. Um, <laughs> here is wood pants. Yes, and then we can probably do bump in pants and see what it comes up with. I'm uh, going away from that screen again because, you know, the potential for inappropriateness. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we could do snake in pants. This one's dumb. This is like bumping pants, like like bumping as in, right? Like as in a good beat. Oh God, I gotta be careful with what I'm saying here. All right, so uh, bump in, no, bump in pants, no, so snake in pants. All right, and then we're probably gonna have to call that good, right? Yeah. Because I'm not sure that we're gonna get anywhere with it. Yeah. Uh, this one is not very good. Snake in trousers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. There's like, there is like three battleships there. I want it. All right. So let's see here. It's just, it just gets worse and worse. It just gets worse and worse. You know? I don't know. I don't know. All right. I, I, I gotta, I, I, I gotta say, I'm sorry. I can't get an image done for you correctly. To give the commands to a drone requires you to have an active target. Yes, well, let's get an active target then. Okay. Is that active now? All right. It was worth the entertainment. Yeah. Yeah, I've tried. I did try trouser trout too, and we'll see if it's. It's thinking about it, which means that it might just tell me no. There are AI image generators that do not have filters like this, but I'm very wary of using anything like that while doing the show. And, um, and that's really because they can come up with stuff that, you know, could get me a suspension or stuff like that. And, uh... I, uh, I want to avoid that, you know, so I've had warnings before from Twitch for stuff. I don't know how long those warnings stay on. They're probably all falling off by now, but you know. Browser trout. <laughs> oh my god. Somebody should totally in real life make pants like that. I'm wearing my trouser trout pants. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that'd be life of the party. Holy shit. Yeah, do you mind if I come dressed as a trouser trout. <laughs> I think that, um, I think that, wow. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Just wow. Yeah. So. Oh, man. Pitching a tent pants? Oh, my God. We've got so many things here that are so wrong. I mean, you guys, I don't even know what to say. I do like, I do really like the trouser trout. I mean, I gotta say, that would be pants that I would wear to a party. I would. I would absolutely make them, I would absolutely wear them to a party. Absolutely. How long did it take to code these things? Well, okay, so, um, I'm not a coder. This is all AI. And, um, so, it's, uh, it's part of, you gotta know how to prompt, which could be seen as coding. But, um, you know, it's, it's a bit different. Anyway, I have pre-written prompts that I've, that I've put in here, and so I just give it a name, and it does what I ask of it. Um, so, and there's a lot more that, you know, you can do with that kind of stuff, too, and everything. Not just art. All right. So, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll see you in the next episode.